Hi, my name is Galina Pinchuk and I am the manager of Lady from Belarus Marriage Agency. And today my topic is who is the most uh, probably be exposed to the scammers on the way to Russian wife. Last week I've got a conversation with a well-to-do guy. He claims he earns around 20,000 a month, which is obviously a very good salary. First we had a question of age gap. He's in his 50s and he said from the very beginning that he could find the woman of in her 30s in his own country. So he would like to find a girl at 20 something, 30 maximum. I asked him why the hell the 20 year old girl would decide to date someone older than her parents. Because uh, nobody will refuse to live like a princess. That was his answer. And then we discussed how the meetings are organized at our agency. Just for you to know, if you are not acquainted with the procedure, we charge for organization of the first meeting. That means a man does the initial choice. We send his profile to the ladies from our agency and ask if they are interested to get acquainted with him. After that, if there are positive replies, we organize the dates. Real meeting in ordinary life and video meetings in pandemic times. But anyway, it's face-to-face -face meeting with a woman who already seen your profile and claims she's interested to try to know you better. And for that service, we charge only 50 euro, and both can share any contact information with each other, and after that, they communicate directly, or not communicate with each other if there were no chemistry. Of course, not everything is as simple as it sounds. We work as the International Marriage Agency for almost 22 years. We have good reputation. We created more than 1,310 families. And we do our best to keep our database as clean from scammers as possible. We interview each lady when she applies to the agency. We check her documents. Therefore, there is a bunch of work behind the process. However, in front there are two, you and the lady that you meet. Or several ladies, because coming to means involves some expenses and you have better chances if you have more than one meeting. Anyway, let's return to our guy. He claims that he has been scammed several times in Ukraine and uh, at that time he is very cautious. I explained that at our agency when in Minsk he pays after the meeting is organized. So he can be sure that she comes to the meeting, that the girl is real, that she is what she is. Even more, we organize the meetings at our agency, not in a fancy fancy restaurant, in order to be sure that the lady is interested to see the man and not just to eat out. But what if, he asks, what if she refuses to communicate with me after the initial meeting? Can we guarantee her that after being acquainted, she will continue communication and come to visit him in his country? I understand, guys, that most of you who are listening to me right now already experienced some sort of dating scam, and that makes you suspicious. But think about that question for a while. To guarantee that despite of what you are, how you behave, she will like you and she will start dating you? How is possible? And we all are different people. Tall or short, birded or bald, brave or cautious, active travelers or homebody. Some have striking charisma, some not. Beside all that, there are thousands of characteristics which can coincide or not. And there is also a mysterious chemistry that sometimes creates attraction to those who formerly are not our best choice. Or vice versa, when there is a right choice but no chemistry, you cannot overcome it. To feel this question better, let's turn it vice versa. Can you guarantee that no matter what you hear or see at the meeting, you will start the relationship with the lady? So the lady has the same right. Of course, Belarus is not the most wealthy country in the world, but the women are not so desperate and not so poor to start a relationship with those who do not attract them. And I do my best not to work with those who are ready to start a relationship uh, with the sake of restaurants and other benefits. So when you meet a girl at our agency, it's a first step of a long journey. It can turn into a relationship, or maybe you will find something in her that will turn you off. Or she won't like something in you. That's life. It's called relationship. It's not a deal. 
Nobody can guarantee that it works. We only do our best to accept only good ladies to our agency, let you meet only the ladies that have seen your profile and photos and approved it. So let's return to our guy. He wants to date a much younger girl. He assumes that he can attract her with money. And he wants a guarantee from the agency that she will keep dating him no matter what. Does it sound like a relationship? I doubt. I told that we cannot offer him what he is looking for, because nobody can guarantee the love. And what will happen to him? He will not stop. He will go for sure to the scammers again. For example, to the paper letter websites, where the interpreters with the ladies' photos in front will be writing endless letters to him, asking for new iPhones and flowers, as long as he pays for every reply. That was my idea. Those who want big difference in age, who want to attract the ladies with their well-being and those who need guarantee, these guys are most important exposed to scammers and fake agencies, much more than real and realistic guys. So, let's return to our guy. He wants to date a much younger girl. He assumes that he can attract her with money, and he wants guarantee from the agency that she will keep dating him no matter what. Does it sound like a relationship? I doubt. I told that we cannot offer him what he is looking for because nobody can guarantee the love. And what will happen to him? He will not stop. He will go for sure to the scammers again, for example, to paper letter websites, where the interpreters with the ladies' photos in front will be writing endless letters to him asking for new iPhones and flowers as long as he pays for every reply. That's what's my idea. Those who want big difference in age, who want to attract the ladies to their well-being, and those who need the guarantee, these guys are the mostly exposed to scammers and fake agencies. Much more than realistic guys. Think about it.